Bear call is forbidden here. In every corner you'll find police. Maybe five or six police came to us. Six, seven maybe. Yeah, and they took us to the police station. Yeah. You see this person and this. Focus on them. This was in 2017 and here is in 2019. In the same place, what do you think the difference is? Aimed at Muslims, like banning long beards. There's no beard, right? This is a mosque in the Muslim region in China, 2011. This journey begins in Kashka. When tens upon thousands of Uyghurs from all across Xinjiang converge on this mosque to worship. And this is in 2016. Today we went. In 2019. This is that place now. Now for prayer, only for tourists. You have to pay to enter. Tickets. Uh, no prayer here, pray. It's nothing like a mosque. It's like entering a farm. That's okay. Look at this one. Completely shut down. They closed it. What about this one? It became a market inside. But wait a second. Where are the worshippers? Uh, like this question is not good for me. A Muslim area in China in which about 21 million Muslims live. It used to be called East Turkestan 70 years ago. Until China conquered it and joined it to communism because of the oil and resources in it and the strategic location which connects China to the world and it called it Xinjiang. Sure, Xinjiang. Which is Chinese for the new borders. Igor. Before I went there, I saw some YouTube videos, Arab and foreign. And they told me, be careful, don't pray, outside your room. A guy who was there and was on a show explaining what happened to him. Fasting is forbidden. I asked, what do you know about this area? These messages are for an Instagram story when I asked you about Xinjiang. I booked a flight to Urumqi the capital of the Muslim region. It is Ramadan, we will visit them there. I'm excited to do this, but there are risks. Is the situation true there? It's a very dangerous area in China. Is what's happening there real? Today we're going to discover an area considered one of the most police-dominated places in the world. Be careful when you go there. One of the most areas the government tries to cover information about. Something wrong is going on there, right? Why they're trying to cover what's going on? There's a camp very close to this area here where more than 1 million Muslims are detained. In November 2018, information that nobody knew about started leaking. This picture is taken by satellite. Look closely and you'll see these huge complexes being built. Vox Channel made a video about this two weeks ago. You see something that resembles a camp, right? It's an internment camp. More than a million Muslims are detained in it. Inside these camps, the Chinese government is detaining as many as 1 million Uyghurs. China's mostly Muslim minority. Detaining 1 million Uyghur Muslims. After pressuring them with proof that there are camps, they said it's a facility for re-education or as they call it, vocational education centers. Uh, and they are afraid of Islamic extremists. Of course, all these are excuses. What I'm sure that I know is that camps exist. 100%. Everyone is afraid to talk about it. The current situation before we start the video. A country that forbids prayer, fasting and growing beards and saying peace be upon you. Obliging Muslims to marry the Chinese and eat pork and drink alcohol. Which means you have to forsake your religion and change your offspring. We arrived. Is this China? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still, huh? Yeah, yeah, still China. <laughs> but it feel, feel different. Yeah. We arrived. Let's get into the Airbnb that we reserved. A lot of police? Yeah. This city, guys, has the world's largest number of police officers. The largest number. In every corner, you'll find police and police checkpoint. Yeah. And the cats. Hello guys, today our trip is to Urumqi city. It's the capital of the whole area. The whole area is called Xinjiang. It has many cities and we are right now... We are in Kazakhstan or China? 
China, still China. Shisha? <laughs> it's different. This is East Turkestan, before China took it, about a hundred years ago. Because of oil and other resources, and they have another language if you saw, all signboards have two languages. The letters look Arabic, but we don't understand it. Right now, we put our stuff here. This is an Airbnb. There's a crown there. This is Liu from Shanghai. So right now we're going to Grand Bazaar. We'll start the day. I've just arrived. We'll start right away. I can't. I think it's the whole area's map. There's a train. Do you know that they made a train from Beijing to here? Just so that people don't feel far from China. They're trying to get away from China, the locals here. But it turned out to be a desert here. It's all mountains, the landscape is amazing. However, land cover, not so much land cover. Are you excited? The Chinese are happy coming here because they consider it a different country, despite it being in China. They speak Chinese? Uh, yeah. They speak Chinese and the other language, their native one. The identity card to get into the residential area. Via face recognition. For the, for the face. Go up. We entered here. It is amazing. We passed through a checkpoint, they searched us and saw the passport. There's a mosque here and an area totally Islamic. This is China still. No, I don't think this is China, man. <laughs> Until now, I can't believe this. And what's going on? I thought it was normal, however. There are a lot of covered things nobody talks about. You're my new friend. But what's with the Chinese flags everywhere? Trying to prove that this is China, guys. In 1950, I think, China took it and imposed communism. And they don't want it. It's a Muslim country. They're Muslims, Turkic. It's good that nobody understands what I'm saying. <laughs> They are very famous for food here, guys. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. You can see fear in their eyes. I don't know why. The most famous meat in the world is here. The most delicious. Oh my God, when is breakfast coming? Is fasting really forbidden there? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Inshallah, Ramadan, huh? Fasting? Huh? Ramadan? When I asked him if he's fasting, he didn't understand. My Chinese friend asked him, then he wanted to prove he's not fasting. Maybe they don't like it. Hey! Uh, you can eat. <laughs> Albeg exists even here. It's in China. You saw the name of the sandwich? Because who fasts and prays disappears. But where do they go? Strange. I'm supposed to be in a Muslim region. And what's more strange, we're in Ramadan, a mosque and a prayer time, and no one prays and people play around the mosque. What's going on? Look how nice it is here. What's this? This is Uyghur clothing. Thank you, thank you so much. The area we are in has two mosques. I'm surprised it was 4 then 5 o'clock, there was no prayer call. Why? It's strange. We're next to the mosque. I entered there and read, I read that prayer call is forbidden here. Imagine they forbade it. They're very, very strict against Muslims here. What's their excuse? With an excuse that they're fighting terrorism and extremism. I want to know where they're detaining them. They say they detained a million Muslims here. The number of Muslims here is 21 million. Some say 100 million, but I read about it, it's 21 million. We tried to get out of the bazaar to understand what's going on. We wanted to get out of the bazaar. 
We went to film the mosques and they immediately caught us. A mosque on every corner with no prayer call, sadly. People here don't speak English at all. They stopped us the first time, the second time, don't film, it's forbidden. What did you film? They search the videos, we hide the memory cards. We pass by four mosques, all of them closed. It's totally forbidden to film here. Even from outside, it's not allowed to film. If they find us take a photo or video, they will take, out, take away our phone and camera and stuff. The police are hidden, you won't know. You'll think it's normal. But as we walk, a lot of people look at us. They're all watching us. And on every corner, someone stops us. They deleted the videos of the mosques. They only deleted the ones where I filmed the mosque, only. They just deleted what they delete. We took a small video of the, the top mosque. of the mosque here. They just deleted the mosque video, right? Yeah. So Why? It's not okay to take photos for the, for the mosque. Why? I don't know. They're so afraid they're doing something wrong. That's not right. China doesn't want the world to know any of this. He also heard something called labor camps. He heard about it, and here, a lot of people talk about it in China. They're going to re-educate them once more. They want to instill Chinese values in them, getting them away from the fact that they are from Turkestan. In the meantime, the camps are still there and growing. If they find a picture, you'll put, for example, Turkestan flag or country name abbreviation, you'll be detained right away. Hawali, maybe five or six police came to us. Six, seven, maybe. Yeah, and they took us to the police station. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, we didn't do anything. They, they thought we took photo at a mosque, but we didn't. What, what the meaning of Xinjiang? New territory. New territory. The new borders. It's a very old name. It's really scary. Will cause him a problem. <laughs> don't worry, okay. don't worry. This is for Arab audience. Uh, okay. Unless they translate it to Chinese. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> When you come, you won't see that clearly, but if you get deep, trying to know, they'll stop you immediately. We're home. What happened today? Going around this area trying to discover, at the same time, we couldn't get close to any locals. No one wanted to talk to us. That's what I heard before coming here. No one will talk to you. No one trusts the other. They all work for the Chinese government. They're all afraid. <laughs> but at a restaurant, very delicious meat, famous for halal food. The most delicious, Halal meat in China. Spices are amazing. Wow, the spices. It's like Pakistani food. <laughs> we'll introduce you to it. But the spices in it? It's so good. Look at the meat. The spices are the most important thing. The secret is in the spices. You dip it like this. We wanted to show you the food in this city of Urumqi. Mm -hmm. It's the best, guys. It's the best in China. When you go to Eastern China, you'll suffer from food. Food in China is a problem. But here it's like us. It's like our food. Tomorrow we're going to a city. I'm so excited for it. Kashgar. Here there's nothing to see. Everything we could see is only in the area that we visited. Grand Bazaar. I'm transferring the videos now because when we go out, someone might stop us and delete the videos. It's just like what happened in Germany when they detained Jews. Right now, we're in 2019, people are detained that nobody knows about. <laughs>